In this lesson, we'll begin to evaluate sampling plans. First, we'll look at them through the eyes of the producer or the processor. Then we'll look at them through the eyes of the consumer. So we can see how the effectiveness of a sampling plan is affected by different lot sizes, sampling sizes, and acceptance numbers. Then I'll show you how to calculate the average outgoing quality level. Then we'll look at the average sample number, or the ASN, and the average total inspection, or the ATI, as useful tools to determine how many samples will be taken for different acceptance sampling plans. Now let's look at acceptance sampling plans through the eyes of the producer and the consumer. What the producer wants is that all conforming lots will be accepted, whereas the consumer wants to be sure that all non-conforming lots will not be accepted. Let's start with an example of an OC curve that has a lot size of 4,000, sample size of 300, and acceptance number of 4. This way we can make sense out of these concepts. We need to introduce a new term called the producer's risk, which is alpha. In this case, let's say the producer is willing to take a 5% risk. We need to subtract this 5% from a 100% probability of acceptance, so we have 95. Then we're going to draw a line horizontally and find where it intersects with the OC curve. Then we're going to draw a line down vertically to determine the percent non-conforming at that level. So what this tells us is that if the producer is willing to take a 5% risk, then 1 out of 20 lots, or 5% of all lots, will not be accepted at a rate of 0.7% non-conforming. And this brings us to another new term, which is the AQL, or the acceptance quality limit. The AQL is the percent non-conforming that corresponds with a particular alpha level. So now let's switch hats and pretend we're the consumer. Now we have another new term called the consumer's risk, or beta. What we need to do is determine the percent non-conforming at a probability of acceptance of 10. In this case, we get a 2.2% non-conforming. What this tells us is that if we're willing to take a 10% consumer's risk, then 1 out of 10 lots that are non-conforming will be accepted. The average outgoing quality gives us another way to evaluate sampling plans. In this case, we add another column to the table of values that we use to construct the original OC curve. This is the AOQ column. In this case, all we have to do is multiply 100 times the percent non-conforming times the probability of acceptance. We're going to use this column to plot along the y-axis instead of the probability of acceptance keep the same axis of the percent non-conforming and plot our values. Then we'll end up with an inflection point on that curve and that will be our average outgoing quality level. In this case, as the percent non-conforming of the incoming quality changes, the average outgoing quality never exceeds the limit of approximately 1.6 non-conforming. The average sample number gives us another way to evaluate sampling plans. This tells us how many samples will be required for different types of sampling plans. What we're going to do is plot the average sample number as the y-axis against the same x-axis as what we've been using before, percent non-conforming. We have different formulas for double, multiple, and sequential sampling plans but no formula is needed for the single acceptance sampling plan because the average sample number will always be the same. So this gives us a useful way to determine what's the best sampling plan for the resources that we have available. And now the last way we have to evaluate sampling plans is the average total inspection. The ATI is the amount inspected by both the consumer and the producer. This is similar to the ASN or average sample number curve because it provides information about the amount inspected but not necessarily about the effectiveness of the sampling plan. Nonetheless, it gives us an indication of the total inspections required for different percent nonconforming levels. And there are different formulas to determine the ATI for the different types of sampling plans and here's the formula for a single acceptance sampling plan ATI. 